On my previous Terranigma let's play I mentioned how important the four games you see here were to me back in the SNES days. Next on my let's play list is Secret of Evermore. Now this is a very weird one for me because to be honest I really don't want to do this LP but I kind of have to. What I remember from this game is that it is incredibly dark. Which is weird because all four of these games handled some very mature story matter. It didn't exactly traumatize me as a kid, but I may have been two or three years too young for this back in the 90s. According to Wikipedia, this game is supposed to have many American pop culture references and I probably didn't understand, well, any of that as a kid. So let's play Secret of Evermore. Pretty dark title screen. And a character name. Um, Storm. Yes. What kind of name is Podunk? Ah, the 60s, back before color was invented. Personally, I wouldn't enter buildings that uh, look like this. I wouldn't do that. Oh. And then something did go terribly wrong. Ugh.
Kaltron? Kaltron? Hm. Ah. That can't be good. No, what indeed? Oh, it's a ring menu. Hmm. How do I shoot? Oh. So this happened. Dog looks kind of different. A petal. Hooray. Whatever that is for. Okay, the plants are dangerous. Kinda low on hit points. I wonder if uh, that petal can be used for healing. Yes! doesn't get killed. Hooray, I'm level Oh, 
How about some more information? <laughs> did I get more hit points? Oh yes, I did. Why, why don't you tell me that game? Fifteen talons. Ah. Is that maybe some kind of currency? I have to say I like the bazooka a lot more than my bone stick thing. Oh, okay, and the dog doesn't die, he is just too tired to fight. Hmm. Amazing teleporting dinosaur. Is he trying to eat me? Hello, man with green hair. 